didn't take you along to a job of mine over here. We've recently 98% completed the boiler room and I want to talk to you about energy efficiency for a moment. I'll take you around the back. The home is in construction. Okay, so one light, two light. So let me just show you what we've got over here. So we've got a Beesman B1 HA boiler, uh, manual reset high limit, We've got a magnetic dirt separator, expansion tank, low water cutoff. We've got the feed set up with a bypass. We've got a valve over here, which is really important to isolate the expansion tank in the event that this ruptures. You don't have to take any water out of the system. We've got the polypropylene venting over here, and this is super important that you use polypropylene because it is rated up to 230 degrees Fahrenheit, while PGC is not. Uh, we have a covers off over here because we are still working on it. Uh, we've got the covers off on the electrical box. We do all the electric in-house. Everything's in-house. Soup to nuts from heat loss study uh, to building it, designing it, electric, everything. We take all the responsibility. Uh, we've got room for a future expansion. We've got three zones coming in. We've got a basement. We've got a master ba uh, bedroom bathroom area. And we've also got a uh, loft coming in. A uh, hot water tank is just set up temporarily uh, as soon as we're got the boiler up and running. We've got the gas valve coming to the gas to come until here. Uh, we just got to complete the run. And that is why I want to talk to you about energy efficiency. So when you come down and you want to be energy efficient, you have to decide to yourself, why do you want to be energy efficient? Do you want to be energy efficient because you want to save the environment? Then we've got to address those... Um, those needs and requirements and if you want to be energy efficient because you want to be able to save money and make money back year after year after year I mean talk about a four five six percent uh, return on investment for 20 something years straight I mean that's what this is uh, you've got a 96 97 percent efficient boiler that's running at 97 percent efficient uh, save uh, two three thousand dollars a year sometimes depending on your house uh, maybe say five hundred dollars a year then it may not be worth it for you. But if you can save three, four, five, six, seven thousand dollars a year, that's going to be amazing. And um, I mean, talk about efficiency long term. You've got to see what type of fuels you've got, what's the price of the fuel, the cost of electric. Um, you know, everybody's big into mini splits. Mini splits not so green. The refrigerant is not so green. How it's produced and when it leaks out to the environment, it's not so green. Uh, the electric, it may be cheap to run, but at the same time, you got to also take a look at the electric. It's being produced in a power plant with steam uh, boilers that are roughly 60 or 50% efficient. So you've got to really know where your power is being generated. And in this case, you've got natural gas over here. The customer is going to be generating it at roughly 90-something percent efficiency. So heat your home, heat your hot water, 90-something percent efficiency. You're both green and you see a nice payback in your pocket. Now, if you don't have natural gas, maybe you have propane, maybe you have a wood uh, wood boiler, maybe you've got something else going on over there, then uh, we're going to reanalyze everything for you and see what the cost per million BTUs are and go from there. Anyway, this is in a nutshell everything we've got over here. And uh, if you guys got any questions, do me a favor, reach out. This little thing here called a phone, use it. Make a phone call. I'm always here for you guys. Looking forward. Please pass this on. If you found value in this, please pass this on to a friend. Have a wonderful day.